how would you describe relations between our countries right now? Uh, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to say in one word, in one sentence. Uh, the shape of our relations are very bad. Uh, as a bilateral ambassador, of course, I try to do my best to facilitate, to improve relations between the United States and Russian Federation. But frankly, it's rather difficult because it seems to me that I even failed to stabilize them. Maybe my first uh, aim is to stabilize uh, relations between the United States and Russia. It seems to me that it's a lot of mistrust, mistrust between our two countries. But I would like uh, to confirm uh, in the beginning of our, from the beginning of our interview that uh, as to Russia, we would like to have a good relations with the United States. Uh, please don't forget the history. History, the Second World War, we were united. We fought together against fascism and nazism and we won it's our own it's our common victory and uh, let's not forget that when we are united we can win we can fight evil and the main evil today is international terrorism that may have been the height but there's no question we're in some depths of our relationship right now today russia announced that it would retaliate and expel 60 diplomats and close the consulate in St. Petersburg. Other than the fact that the U.S. did it first, what's the rationale? Why? Uh, I try to explain uh, American people uh, why we have decided to do it. For example, I know how uh, American people, especially men of course, and women as well, it goes without saying, are brave. And if anybody slap your cheek, your face, what will be a reaction from your side? You will think, not you will think, you will try to do and you will retaliate. It goes without saying. Uh, you see that uh, sometimes there is a lot of questions, what we want from the United States? And every time I try to answer to a question who we are, regarding our relations. And I would like to confirm that uh, we are not enemies. We are not rivals, regardless that your administration put Russia in a list of rivals for the United States. It seems to me that we are partners. And of course, we have to cooperate uh, uh, together. You see that uh, there was a disaster in London. Uh, somebody poison two Russian citizens. And uh, it's a tragedy I would like to confirm. And I'm very much surprised why uh, the UK government has decided to blame Russia. There is, uh, frankly, there is no evidence uh, regarding the Russian involvement in this uh, exercise. And uh, you see that uh, the United States has decided to, uh, to support uh, uh, British uh, ally, and they have decided to close Russian uh, consulate general in Seattle as well as to expel uh, 60 Russian diplomats. But that's very interesting, you see that. What is the uh, pretext for such actions? Let me ask you if I may. Yes, of course. You say there is no evidence of Russian involvement. Yeah. Do you agree or acknowledge that it was a Soviet-era nerve agent used in this attack on the two Russian citizens in Great Britain? Uh, you say that, uh, frankly, I, I don't know. You say that what we offered and what we uh, have requested from our British uh, colleagues just only to give us evidence, to give us proofs regarding the potential involvement or so-called involvement of Russian uh, side into this uh, accident. Moreover, we have excellent uh, convention on prohibition of chemical weapons, uh, the headquarters of this uh, convention in, in The Hague. We have offered, let's sit together and in accordance with provisions uh, of this uh, uh, convention, let's uh, cooperate and let's try to find out what has happened in London. It and please, and please, uh, let's uh, work together and let's uh, decide what should we do together not to permit such accidents um, happen again. 
if this, if you could see the proof, and it was this nerve agent, and it is a Soviet-era nerve agent, would you conclude, as the as the Brits have, that it was the Russians behind it, or yes. do you think it could be somebody else who has access to this nerve agent? There are some questions regarding your questions. It's like retaliation. First, how do you know that this is a Russian agent? The second question. You said that it's a very strange situation, uh, so very soon after attack uh, with this um, uh, chemical agent, uh, UK specialist uh, used antidote. Why they decided to use this or that antidote? It means that they knew what kind of agent uh, was used against uh, those two uh, Russian citizens. What does it mean? Why it uh, has happened very close to UK uh, military uh, chemical uh, laboratory? Are you, are you suggesting that the, the Brits are behind it? That the, is that what you're saying? No, you say that. I don't want to blame anybody. What I want, I would like to cooperate with Americans, with a UK uh, specialist together in accordance with provisions of uh, a Convention on Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. By the way, the United States as well as UK uh, have ratified this convention. It means that they have to oblige the provisions of this convention. That's all what I want. Mm. You say that it's uh, like your court, for example. If the, there is somebody, you suspect somebody who killed uh, one person, and, for example, a uh, prosecutor could say, you see that I have some evidence, he will say uh, to the judge, I have some uh, secret information, it's in my pocket, I cannot reveal you, but please trust me that he has killed a person. So it will be enough for your judge to send that guy to their death. Well, the Brits have given some information. They've identified the nerve agent. They say it's this Excuse Novachenko me. nerve agent. Some information, what does it mean? You said, we have requested. Please, could you show us the results of your initial investigation? Mm -hmm. You said that we never rejected to cooperate. I would like to emphasize it and would like to repeat it 100 times. We would like to cooperate together. But, please, uh, let's... Uh, look at the situation from the beginning. You said that Madame May has blamed us, saying that you are responsible for this attack. You will have just only 24 hours for reply and full stop. It's impossible. We talked about this at the beginning, but for most Americans, they think of the rock bottom of relations between our two countries as the Cold War. Do you fear that we are in a new kind of Cold War? Are we, are relations that tense? Is it that bad yet? Uh, there is no definition. What does it mean, Cold War? I frankly, think frankly, it and uh, it depends upon us to decide whether we are in Cold War or not. But uh, again, of course, um, I don't remember such uh, bad shape of our relations. And um, you see that, as I mentioned, that there is a great mistrust between uh, the United States uh, and Russia. But at the same time, I would like uh, to emphasize that we uh, have a great potential areas of cooperation. When I arrived in Washington, it was seven months ago, when I met to uh, various um, NGO uh, politicians, uh, I said that maybe I said that maybe you will be surprised, but my prediction that we can cooperate in Syria, in Middle East, because as you know that I uh, worked six years in Ministry of Defense as a Deputy Minister responsible for uh, international military relations, and I uh, know uh, how we at that time at Ministry of uh, Defense, I appreciate um, uh, potential, I would like to be very cautious, I would like to be very cautious, potential cooperation between the United States uh, and Russia and Syria, because it's very important, it's very important, sorry, it's very important even 
uh, when we think about the lives of uh, uh, American soldiers as well as uh, Russian mm -hmm. soldiers and officers. May I ask about the relationship um, between President Trump and President Putin? President Trump recently called President Putin to congratulate him on his victory in the election. There was a report in our press that he was told, the pres President Trump was told by his advisors, do not congratulate President Putin. What did you think of that? Uh, I think nothing because I don't know what has happened in the administration of Mr. Trump. It's up to him to decide who is with him during conversation and who is not. Uh, what I know, I know official reports from Kremlin, from Minister of Foreign Affairs. It was uh, constructive conversation. Did President Could I add even that yes. it was warm conversation? Warm. Yes, it's my position. You said it was not mentioned in um, uh, the statement, but how I read it. And uh, if you look at the substance of this conversation, our two presidents uh, have discussed the real problems we face today and how it is important to uh, unite our efforts uh, to tackle these uh, challenges uh, uh, to our security, to security of the United States people as well as the uh, Russian people. Different. And you said that there was a proposal to, to organize a summit. For me, it's very important and I consider that it's a very positive signal from the United States that it's high time for two presidents to sit together uh, and to discuss, by the way, shape of our relations, what, uh, uh, what will be necessary to do for us, how to stabilize. You think stabilize. the two presidents will get together for a summit? Did they talk about I that? Hope. I hope. It is in, uh, you said that uh, maybe I will provide you with the documents mm. from Kremlin. Mm. It was published that they discussed a potential uh, summit uh, potential meeting between them. It's very important. And uh, by the way, I uh, was very much disappointed that there was no uh, uh, full-fledged uh, summit in Da Nang in, Viet uh, in Vietnam. Mm. Uh, our presidents uh, met just only, how to say, uh, uh, on the working sidelines, on, on the yes. sidelines yeah. and that's all. But they endorsed very important documents, by the way. As you know, Russia has continued to deny any interference in our 2016 presidential election. You've said, show us the proof. And now the special prosecutor, Robert Mueller, has obtained an indictment, a lengthy indictment against 13 Russians and Russian organizations, and he lays out his case. He lays out the proof. Are you convinced now that you've seen this evidence? Uh, how do you think? Let's imagine situation that some Americans, hackers, they uh, interfere into Russian election. Does it mean that the administration of the United States would be in favor of such attack. But that's important. Just you admit or you acknowledge it was yes. these Russians who I did it. I don't know, you said. I don't know. Maybe they, uh, they were Russians, maybe from North Korea, maybe from UK, uh, maybe uh, from France. I don't know, you said. That. It's necessary to investigate. But let me understand. If, Again, if the Russian... I know you don't like if. If, you said. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm but a if, real politi not politician, but diplomat. Yes, of course. But, uh, if it is the Russians that are identified in this indictment that did the, this conduct, meddling in the, in the election, is that okay by Russia? What, what does it mean meddling, you said that? I don't understand. What, what does it mean, you said that? What kind of consequences? So they uh, interfered in what, what kind of process? You said that I don't understand. I don't, I'm not specialist in this sphere. Um, you mentioned a few minutes ago that President Trump and President Putin had had a warm conversation. Uh, when, when he recently called. Some here in this country have noticed that President Trump does not criticize President Putin, that he's very rare, rarely criticizes President Putin. Why should he criticize Mr. Putin? I wondered what For you what? made of it. For what? You, why? Well, the U.S. For government thinks that President Putin ordered meddling in our election, <laughs> so that you might be one thing. At the same time, again, if we respect each other's interests, it means that uh, why Mr. Putin uh, did not criticize Mr. Trump? You see that two leaders are talking not to criticize each other. Mm -hmm. They are uh, meeting, uh, they have meetings, uh, they uh, have had the talks to decide real problems. Mm -hmm. 
And you see that, uh, I remember, maybe it was in Danang, I don't remember exactly, please. Uh, but uh, Mr. Trump raised this question uh, to Mr. Putin, and Mr. Putin made it clear, I, it seems to me that it was in Danang, uh, that we didn't interfere in your uh, election uh, campaign. We didn't undercut the security, internal security of the United States. It was clear. That's why if uh, there are other questions, Again, let's uh, sit together and let's uh, discuss this. Some expect that Robert Mueller, the special prosecutor, may next indict Russian officials, officials in the government. What would the response be? If that were to yeah. happen, would that first, take it to another level? Excuse me that today I smell a lot of, but first of all, I don't want to interfere in your relations because we are very uh, close to the situation when even ambassador will be kick of the country. <laughs> then we end up where we started. You, you talked a lot about wanting to see our countries cooperate, and I think everybody agrees that would be better. Um, why do you think relationships, why do you think the relationship between our two countries has deteriorated to this point, and what part of it, what part, what responsibility is Russia willing to take for that? First, you see that I don't understand why Russia should take any responsibility because uh, you see that uh, when we dance, it means that we both parties are responsible. That's what I was thinking. It takes two to tango. Uh, so uh, you see that it's very important that we have proven that we have national interest. We have uh, our position on various issues, Middle East. You see that uh, a few years ago, Russia has decided uh, to help uh, um, countries who are fighting against terrorism. I would like to uh, emphasize that we came to Syria to uh, fight against terrorism. And at that time, 95% were seized by terrorists. Now, I don't know, maybe 5% of the territory is still under the occupation of Daesh. Uh, so the criticism is that Russia is aligned with Assad, who... Of course, has side, had a vicious campaign against you his own that It's people. again, it's not uh, exactly what I mean. We decided to help Assad to defeat Daesh. Yes, but, but as you know, Assad goes after his political opponents and crushes them. You see that we don't want to interfere in two civil uh, war in, um, uh, in uh, Syria. As you know, that we started uh, Astana process to stop uh, firing, uh, to cease fire uh, in um, uh, Syria. And by the way, we succeeded. We launched a uh, Sochi process, and we organized a meeting, uh, and it's a lot of uh, oppositions uh, uh, participated in this event. And we have emphasized that the main purpose for us to get together, to concentrate our efforts now in Geneva. Could I ask you about something you can tell me? I just, it just was... Um, a report that just came in. But I don't said, know. I know, so I'm going to ask you about it because you, you maybe like, you will you know. Would like, you would like to put me in I won't put you awkward, on the spot if you don't situation. know. No, no, I don't want to do that, sir, at all, because that's not fair. But I'll ask you because maybe you'll know something about it and can say, no, that didn't happen. I have just come from lunch. You said that there well, was no... Well, this is about the phone call. My lunch? Me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about lunch. I'll tell you, it, two officials said that, the, that President Trump told President Putin during that phone call last week, if you want to have an arms race, we can do that, but I'll win. Did, did that happen? No, you said that, uh, again, it is not uh, correct, it, it's not polite from my side to review all uh, uh, issues that our two presidents mentioned. But I just would like to say you, if I can, that our presidents um, uh, raised an issue of arms race. And there was uh, uh, intention to discuss this issue when they meet. But it did come up, this idea of an arms race during the phone call. Of course. Do you know that if President Trump said to President Putin... No, I explained you, I also answered you. You don't want first, to get into it. First, you said that it will be not polite to review all details. The second... You said that I would like to reject. Even uh, you said that I, I even crossing my red lines because it's not polite. Yeah. And you said that, as you know, that uh, it's not correct from uh, for diplomats uh, to reveal such top level uh, conversation. And again, uh, two presidents are concerned. 
uh, regarding uh, arms race. Moreover, as to me, as I mentioned, that I was a head of Russian delegation on uh, uh, strategic arms, uh, uh, on treaty on strategic uh, arms, you said that it's very important for us to decide what will be in the future, what we will do with this uh, treaty. You said that just only a few years uh, and uh, this treaty expires. It's very important for us. Indeed. Thank you.